guess what? I'm back with a new video. And this one's gonna be very, very, very helpful to you. Got one of these finishers over here, the FS534. Having some alignment issues. Jamming, nicking the paper. If you do, I got a permanent fix for you. And it involves modding these bad boys with some sheet metal. Now stay tuned. here that you see one on the right one on the left these align the paper they help with the stay clean and all conditions you probably just saw that weird shift there that just happened that's because that arm there on the left hand side the one in the back or the rear is actually nicked so we're going to fix that issue i'm going to see if it does it again here let's see it see that that's the issue you're going to have i'm actually glad the finish is doing it we're going to fix that issue we're going to fix it permanently okay so this modification did not come from us this came from a guy by the name of black hat 4866 from copy tech net he went ahead and modded these and it looks like it works so we're just going to apply his fix we want to give him a shout out we already modified about 15 to 20 of these finishers and we have not seen this issue come back at all so let me show you guys the issue right now all right, so here's an up close look at what one of these finisher arms looks like when they're nicked up. There's just a mylar over there. If you remove this mylar, it will start working, but it'll eventually nick the plastic and do the same thing. So, um, Konica came up with a fix, which I'll show you here. These do cost a lot. Um, this is the official fix, which it does help. But what we noticed is you can still get a nick there in the back in the plastic area. So this might only last, you know, 300,000, half a million copies. That might be fine for you if you're willing to pay. But the official fix from Black Cat on Copy Tech Neck is to put a piece of uh, 28 gauge sheet metal that we formed and place it along the arms like this. We have had no problems with these at all. It seems to be a permanent fix. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. Okay, so we went out and bought some 28 gauge sheet metal and some of these little cutter tools. And what you want to measure up is 15 millimeters by 95 millimeters. Once again, 15 by 95. And you'll just go ahead and cut those. Or you can do what we did and pay a company to cut them for you. I'll link the company in the description. But they went ahead and cut these for us. It didn't even cost that much. I think it was 60 bucks for about 25 of these. Um, we have a lot of these finishers doing this, so it actually was pretty cost effective because uh, buying through Konica was gonna be way too much money. Now that you have this, we're just gonna form it to an arm and then glue it down. All right, this is the process, probably what takes the most time. I'm not even gonna go through it fully. Um, basically, you just take the mylar off, clean this up, um, and then you'll go ahead and you'll just start forming the metal like this right on here. What we do is kind of put it right there. Take your finger, bend. Make sure you guys can see that. Take your other finger here at the base, kind of bend it again. Get it where it can sit nice and smooth like that. You can see that. And then just form around the edges. This takes about 10 minutes or so. And once that's formed, where it kind of sits on there, really nice, really flush, then we'll just go ahead and apply some glue. All right, I got my glue sheet here. Make sure you get you some epoxy adhesive that works um, for bonding plastic to metal. Um, we have about three different kinds, uh, the uh, Gorilla Glue and the JB Weld. Actually, the JB Weld works the best. This one right here is okay. You just mix it up like that. Do, 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 do. And I'm just doing this really quickly here. This does take a little bit of time, but it saves you money and it seems to be a permanent, permanent fix. So, once you have everything done, you'll just go ahead. Find my... Here we go. You'll just apply the glue over here. Make sure you get it all over. And you want a little bit, you want it a generous amount all over, and you'll just take your plastic and 
put it on there. Once again, this is not complete. I have not formed this. I'm just showing you guys what to do. And you'll make sure everything should be nice and flush just like that. There we go. I mean, it will be flush. Um, so once that's nice and flush, we let these sit for about 24 hours. And then your finished product will look like this. And this does not come off. I mean, it is, it's solid. Nice and solid. Kind of take a Dremel tool and buff this out. You can also make sure you kind of, before you apply the glue, you kind of scuff this up with a sandpaper or a Dremel tool. And then after you're done, you go ahead and put them in the finisher. And I'll show you guys how to put these back in and you'll be good to go. All right, so, sorry about the noise. We do work in an area with a lot of other people. All right, so all you need to get to the arms is just a screwdriver and a flashlight. I got my long johnny here, if you guys can see it. Flashlight. I'm gonna be using my drill though. I'm just gonna show you one side, how to remove. Let's do the rear. But both sides are the same, just remove the cover. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five screws or so. The back, same thing. Just remove all the screws in and around. Let's do that now. This is a pretty simple job, doesn't take too long. So there's one screw there. Let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, three. I should have did the front. It was less screws. Four. One here in the middle. Five. Six. Seven. And one more. Eight. All right. So put those screws to the side there. All right. So let's go ahead. And when you're back here, I like to get a blower, blow all this stuff out. You can see it's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna have to angle this in the right way. What you're gonna be doing is turning this cam right here, which turns the arms. You're gonna want it to align where you can actually see the screw. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera where you guys can see it, but once again, you'll be moving this by hand. Right when you see the screw, you're gonna insert your long screwdriver straight up, unscrew it, and then the arm will come right out. Let's see if I can get this where you guys can see. All right, so you're gonna come in at this angle. You're gonna go down and up. Let's see if I can get this here. You see that little notch right? Let me get my screwdriver to show you. There. That hole right there, you'll see a screw. And you're gonna remove that one screw there. Once again, that cam I was telling you about moves that. So if you don't see the screw, just keep turning that cam until you see the screw there. So let me go ahead and remove that screw and then the arm will come. You want a pretty long screwdriver for this. And it's gonna be the same thing on the left side, or the front side, if you wanna call it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, we're Lucy. We are Lucy Goosey. There we go. All right, so flip this around. Now, this arm, kind of wiggle it, it's a little wiggly, and jiggle, wiggle jiggle, there you go, look at, look at that, that one, no mylar, nicks all over the place, this one needs to be fixed, so the same thing in reverse, you'll throw this back in, Get a flashlight for 
you. Just like that. And you want it to just sit right on it. Don't worry about getting it in place. You'll turn the finisher back around. And you're going to want it to align right on that hole. Now that's the only part that's a little bit tricky. Is you need to hold your hand. Let me see if I can get this to where you guys can see it. You're going to grab your hand on the cam. Let's see if I can angle this a little bit better. Sorry, I'm alone here. You'll grab your hand here on the cam. Well, put your head in and you're looking and then you'll actually grab the arm itself and then lay it right on top of the bracket. Let's see if I can get it the first time. And these can be a little tricky. They take a little time. But you need to get right over it. And there you go. All right, I'm right on it. Then you just insert your screw and you're done. And do that for both sides. Once again, it can be a little bit tricky. It took me about 30 minutes to an hour the first time after your second and third it gets really easy. Okay, so this is how it looks like when the mods have been installed. Big shout out to Black Cat again from Copy Technet. You guys can hit that like button and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We've got a lot more videos we're going to be showing you. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.